Avtron, AV5667, 85, and 115, Thin Line 2 installation. The Avtron AV56, AV67, AV85, and AV115 are modular two-piece incremental encoders featuring broad mounting tolerances, high power protected outputs, and built-in diagnostics. This video shows installation of the AV56. All four models, AV56, 67, 85, and 115 mount in a similar fashion. The AV56 fits AC and DC motors with a 4.5 inch accessory flange or face. Installation hardware shown in the manual and pictured here is required. Begin AV56 installation. In preparation for installing the AV56 encoder, it is necessary to clean both the accessory motor shaft and the mounting face. Use the dial indicator gauge to ensure motor shaft runout TIR does not exceed 2 thousandths, 0.05 millimeter. Do not use silicone sealants or caulk of any kind on the motor face or encoder face. These can cause misalignments or sensor scraping damage. However, if the motor end plate is steel, do apply anti-seize compound to the motor face. For this demonstration, we will be installing the through shaft cam screw rotor style. The set screw rotor installation is demonstrated in a separate video. The cam screw rotors are shipped with factory thread locker and are turned to the disengaged position. Do not remove the cam screws before installation. Bottoming out the screws or backing them out excessively can lead to insufficient shaft holding force. Slide the rotor onto the shaft. Ensure the cam screws face away from the motor. The rotor must be properly located from the motor face. Use the rotor locating gauge and slide the rotor onto the shaft until it is in the proper position. This photo shows the AV56 and 115 spacing. The AV67 and 85s have different offsets from the C face. If a gauge is not available, use the housing as the gauge. This alignment method is shown later in this video. Tighten the rotor cam screws to 50 to 60 inch pounds with the T-handled hex wrench or torque wrench with hex bit. Be sure to tighten both cam screws in the direction shown on the face of the rotor. Each cam screw will turn less than one full turn. The stator housing is attached to the motor using four socket head cap screws. Longer bolts, not included, are required for sandwich installation between a motor and a brake. Install the four mounting bolts using thread locker and torque to approximately 20 to 30 foot-pounds using a hex wrench. Verify rotor location using the housing. Verify that the outer face of the rotor is at the same depth as the alignment grooves using a straight edge tool. Cover installation. Covers must not interfere with the motor shaft or rotor. The extended shaft cover installs with four screws included. The flat and through shaft covers, not shown in this video, install using a snap ring. For these styles of covers, be sure to first align the round tabs or ears with the grooves in the housing, then snap the ring in place on top of the flat cover. The AV56 is now installed. Power up the AV56. Begin to turn the shaft. 
the AV56 electronics will self-adjust for optimal signals. The diagnostic light should be bright green. If the diagnostic light is red or not illuminated, check the manual for troubleshooting procedures. If an oscilloscope is used to test the encoder, the signal should look roughly as shown here, with waves of the same width, and one channel will lead the other by one half a wave. The powerful line drivers in the AV56 and other thin line models may produce minor overshoot spikes on short cables. These are normal and will not harm the encoder or drive, and signal quality will not be affected. The signals shown here were taken at steady speed. The AV56 Thinline 2 is now installed properly and ready to output signals to your PLC or drive.